Luke here with CatsAndCarp.com and I'm going to show you how I catch big catfish. Now I'm talking about big channel catfish, big blue catfish, and big flathead catfish. Now the methods I'm using are really simple and they work just about anywhere. I'm doing it from a boat, but you could do it from the bank. I'm doing it in Northern Virginia, but this works all across the country. If you want to target all three species of big catfish in North America at the same time, you got to use live bait. Live bait is absolutely essential because 90% of a big catfish's diet is made up of bait fish. Now in this area, it's gizzard shad and bluegill. Those are the two most common bait fish in this area. So if you want to attract the attention of big catfish, you got to use what they're hunting, what they're looking for, and what they're eating all the time. I use a cast net to catch my bait fish and if you'd like to learn how to throw a cast net, check out our video on throwing a cast net. When you use live bait, you want to catch your bait locally so you don't spread diseases or parasites by transporting live fish from one body of the water to another. But also, there's another advantage. If you're going to find big catfish, you have to find where the bait fish are at. By going out and hunting your own live bait, you naturally have to find where the bait fish are hiding. Wherever you find bait fish hiding, that's where the big hunters in the reservoir are also going to find bait fish hiding. So throwing a cast net isn't just a great way to catch a lot of bait, it's also a great way to find a lot of good trophy catfishing spots. When I go night fishing for a couple hours, I catch about 10 or 12 shad, get a couple bluegill in there too, I hook them through the back with a 8-aught Gamagatsu circle hook, cast that sucker out there and carpet bomb a location. This is an area where the original riverbed is on the bottom of the reservoir. It's about 20 feet deep and very close to a steep bank. A really great spot with lots of bait fish hanging out in it. Doesn't take very long. The rods I'm using are the Whisker Seeker Chad Ferguson series. They're a seven foot medium hard action rod, cost about $75 a piece. And the reels are Okuma Trio 55S. Uh, reels got a nice matching orange color on there. I've got king cast a blue high-vis 40 pound braid And I top the whole rig off with a nice channel cat. This channel cat is pretty average size when I'm fishing with live bait It's a beautiful hard fighting fish. These catfish are a real fun fight on that Chad Ferguson rod This Tommy You want to put him back? Now put it now put him back Good job Tommy High five give me a high five Tommy yeah! The rig I'm using is really simple. I'm using a 3 ounce inline lead with a bead below that, a swivel below that, and then 12 inches of 40 pound monofilament with an 8 aught Gamagatsu circle hook snelled with a knotless knot. Really simple rig, easy to tie, cheap to make, works very effectively and is very strong. Okay. So you got him? Yeah. You got him? Hold on. Each of the three species of catfish like their own different types of baits. They have their own different types of quirks, but the one thing they have in common is they all love live bait. Look at this channel cat right in the corner of the mouth. He just inhaled that entire shad. And this is a beautiful, beautiful channel catfish, and you'll catch them like this all day long on that live bait. Mommy? Bye. You wanna, you wanna put him back? Okay. Oh, big spot. Each of the three species of catfish have their own little quirks. While I catch the most channel catfish out in the deepest part of the trough, the flatheads I catch closer to the shore and closer to structure. I had this left rod right up against some snags and had a little tiny bluegill on it. It started bouncing a little bit, so I thought I'd let Tommy reel it in. And he was doing okay, and then he just started complaining that it was, it was tough to reel. Then all of a sudden that fish decided to wake up and we knew we had a big catfish on our hands. <laughs>
this big old flathead absolutely obliterated the bluegill I was using as bait. When I opened his mouth, I saw he was as deeply gut hooked as I've seen in a long time. But luckily this catfish was so big, I was able to get both hands down into its stomach and able to remove the hook without tearing its stomach. I never had both hands in the stomach of a catfish before, but uh, I was glad I was able to get that hook out, which will greatly uh, increase the health of the fish. So I put it in the water, and after you know how all that fighting and everything, we let him sit in the water and rest and catch his breath for a few minutes before we pulled him out and weighed him and took some pictures and then got him back in the water. This beautiful flathead topped the scale at 35 pounds. Great fish. All right, Tommy. You want to help? All right. All right. You ready? Okay. Whoa. Oh, oh. Yeah. Splash! After I got that flathead back in the water, I had to go take care of that other catfish that was still on the line. During that fight, I had two bites and one catfish hook up. It was hot and heavy action all night long. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, oh it's biting me. Oh. Ah. 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 Oh, that son of a gun! Oh. Oh. Yeah. Are you ready? Oh. Okay! Yeah. Woo! Say cheese! Cheese! <laughs> oh, that's a great one. You want to put him back? Okay! Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you want, you want more fish? Okay, sit down. All in all, we had a great fishing trip. I spent a little bit over 90 minutes fishing with my son on a weekday night, and we hooked a lot of fish. You can see here, we got another double strike at the same time. It's just fabulous action. Absolutely fabulous. We just had a flood, and this was the middle of October, so that hot fall action and uh, the hungry catfish because of the high nasty water was just a perfect combination and we just had a really really great uh, catfishing session. Fall has always been a great time of year to catch catfish for me. It's anytime that water temperature starts to hit the upper 60s mid 60s those catfish start feeding so aggressively and try to put on the pounds before the big winter freeze. It's great action, the weather's nice, you can fish more in the middle of the day. It's just a great time to go in after work for a few hours and load up on some fish. If you like those videos, don't forget to check out some of our other videos, including our top eight catfish baits and how to fish with live bait. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.